Thank you Christine. Sau đây là có một con phim mới nhất sẽ được trình chiếu rất là hạn chế trong vùng Bắc Mỹ. Đây là một con phim của nhà làm phim Ra Amit Kumar là một nhà làm phim người Ấn Độ. Với tựa đề Unfreedom, thưa quý vị, bị cấm chiếu tại quê nhà của nhà làm phim ở bên Ấn Độ, cuốn phim Unfreedom sẽ được phân phối tại các dạp hát ở vùng Bắc Mỹ và đồng thời trên các đài hiện số thông qua film Buff. Và Unfreedom tạm dịch là thiếu tự do sắp đặt hai câu chuyện mạnh mẽ, cương trực của hai câu chuyện hiện đại về trào lưu tôn giáo và bất dung thứ, thưa quý vị. À, sau đây là một số... Um, gọi là hình ảnh cũng như là cái cuộc phỏng vấn đặc biệt mà phóng viên Carolyn đã ngồi xuống phỏng vấn nhà làm phim cho cuốn phim Unfreedom này thưa quý vị soạn thảo và đạo diễn bởi Kumar và phim này với phần tham gia của Victor ben Benerjee được biết đến qua As Passage to India cũng như là Bonu Uday được biết đến qua Monsoon và Preeti Gupta Sima Ramani được biết đến qua Good Night Good Morning và xin được gửi đến quý vị cuộc phỏng vấn đặc biệt của phóng viên Carolyn ngồi xuống phỏng vấn nhà đạo diễn cho cuốn phim Unfreedom này. You have been sleeping for a very long time. Everything is set. They know nothing. Be safe and low key. I'm scared. Not I'm gay. I don't want to get married. Leila, you agreed, didn't you? <laughs> Did I have a choice? We live in a world ruled by the American Wall Street. And the war is to fight against it. It is a war between right and wrong, between the powerful and the powerless. How has Allah gotten into this war? We are in love, and people who love each other live together. I want to marry you. Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Muslims are not the enemy. The Osamas and Omars do not represent Muslims. This man is weak. We should not let him lie to our own people. We need to send a message to traitors around the world. This is India. Every half hour, a rape in India. This is the choice we make when we are most cornered in life. Finds who we are. Wonderful. Raj Amit Kumar. Mm -hmm. I watched Unfreedom last night. It was a very powerful film. Um, the themes were, you know, religion, sexual freedom, you know, themes that Western audiences are familiar with, but told from a different perspective. Can you tell us a little bit about it, your film? So Unfreedom um, has two stories in it. One takes place in New York where <clears throat> a fundamentalist Muslim has come from Lahore to kidnap and kill a liberal Muslim scholar. Another story takes place in New Delhi where uh, there is a lesbian who is about to get married <clears throat> and she runs away with her lover hoping that she can marry and live happily in India. And she's chased by her cop father. So um, I'm trying to address the question of religious intolerance, mm -hmm. um, sexual unfreedom, mm -hmm. um, and uh, most importantly, violence and, and where that violence comes from. So I guess I've, I've done an okay job. You did an excellent job. You wrote the screenplay <coughs> and directed it. Where did the inspiration for the storyline come from? Well, uh, as I mentioned in, in, in the film itself, Faz Ahmed Faz's poem, uh, uh, Dawn of Unfreedom, was one inspiration for the theme and the concept. But, you know, we make films from our personal experiences. I have I have I've seen religious violence in India. Uh, I have uh, known uh, uh, friends from homosexual community who have faced brutality and violence in India. <clears throat> and hence, you know, these were subjects, these were themes that were important for me to express in my work. And then the question was, how do you tell a story uh, that is not just about, just not about homosexual identity in India, or not just about what Muslim uh, face in New York, but it is about something beyond uh, more sort of uh, deep-rooted uh, question of violence itself. The cast, 
It was amazing. How did you come to work with this amazing cast of actors? Uh, well, Very strong. Uh, first of all, I, I'm actually I'm I'm really really uh, thankful that I was able to work with uh, people like Victor Banerjee, Adil Hussain, Bhanu Ray, uh, you know, and Preeti Gupta and Bhavani Lee, uh, Uncle Vikal, Seema Rahmani. I mean, they're all wonderful actors. Samrat, I uh, shouldn't forget his name, and and uh, it, it it was just I think things were happening organically for the film. In, it was it was tough initially to cast some of these actors, but you know when when they started coming on board with the films, you know so everybody started coming on board, um, and you know film only became more powerful because of their amazing performances. So uh, I'm glad that happened. What would you want audiences not only to experience but take away after watching In Freedom? Uh, I, I, I can't tell for, for the audience what they should take away. I think all I can expect as a filmmaker is <clears throat> and that, that the audience is impacted and the audience uh, experience something strong and then they question about the film. I think that's all you can expect as a, as, as a filmmaker. You know, to, to even go in the direction as a filmmaker to think about they should experience this or that. I think it's just, it's just a, it's a dicey place to be in. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it that way. Well, and Freedom was be beautifully shot, wonderfully written. I thoroughly enjoyed your film. And Freedom is in theaters on May 29th and available on video on demand. Thank you. Xin quý vị khán giả vẫn tiếp tục giữ màn hình SBTN. Chúng tôi sẽ trở lại trong giây lát.